Welcome to the PH4410 review of threshold filtering of a correlation matrix. So we start by reviewing what we know about this particular correlation matrix. Uh, first of all, this correlation matrix is symmetric. Therefore, the number of independent correlation matrix are only in the upper triangle or the lower triangle. So for convenience sake, let us just consider the upper triangle and then there will be n times n minus 1 divided by 2 independent matrix elements. So for a stock market with a few hundred to a few thousand stocks, this is actually a very large number of independent matrix elements. Um, and so how do we pick out only the most important ones to show? So uh, earlier on in the previous uh, video review, we have uh, talked about how to use make use of the uh, spectral decomposition of the correlation matrix as you would do uh, in the random matrix theory uh, to actually do the filtering. Here we show a simple method to do filtering and that is to set only pick out those cost correlations uh, that are larger or equal to a given threshold, C0. Okay? But this raises a, a different question, and that is how we would pick C0. So one way we can do this would be to plot the CDF of the cross-correlation matrix elements. So this will go from plus 1, uh, sorry, minus 1 to plus 1, uh, and if we plot the cumulative distribution, uh, the CDF might look something like this. So it may look something like this. And then it will rise very rapidly and then saturate at 1. So this point here is 1. Okay, and so we can see that this is not, the, the CDF does, is not a linear function. It does not increase linearly with the cost correlation value uh, and at some point there will be a uh, typically there will be a point of a steepest increase, steeper slope and then at this point here the number of links that increase or decrease per unit change in Cij will be the largest. So we can pick C0 equals to uh, Cij such that the slope is the maximum. Okay, but this does not guarantee that the graph is connected. So graph of the stocks are not necessarily connected. Now, there is several there are several different kinds of problems that are associated with a scheme like this, a filtering scheme like this. Uh, one of the possible schemes would be so apart from the fact that you you might be interested in keeping a connected network instead of a uh, whole bunch of uh, disconnected subgraphs. Uh, the, 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 the main problem might be something that looks like this. So again, I plot the CDF against the correlation and it may look something like this. So you may, you may have a very slow increase and then a rapid increase slows down, rapid increase slows down, and a rapid increase and slow down. So this will be, of course, it will saturate at one uh, and then the maximum value of cost plus one and then you have you start from minus one and somewhere in between you have zero. Now the, the, dif the difficulty posed by some, a CDF looks like this would be the fact that they are all together C1, C2 and C3, three different uh, points, uh, correlation values at which you experience maximum change in the rate of increase or decrease of the number of links. So this is, this, this actually happens more often then yeah, you can imagine it okay, happens often because of uh, hierarchy 
hierarchical structures in the market. So actually what you can see is that there is no one single good threshold that we can choose uh, to be able to um, to be able to um, uh, pick out the most important cor close correlations. In fact, you can see from here there are there is a hierarchy of uh, important correlations. One at the value of C three, where you will find the most strongly correlated uh, groups of stocks, and then after that you will go on to C two, where you will find strongly correlated groups of uh, groups, and then further and then finally at C one you will find. Uh, how these groups of groups are being organized. So there is a hierarchical structure can uh, be discerned from the CDF of the, the distribution, but this is not a very reliable way because sometimes you get uh, a whole bunch of C2s that are very close together and therefore it changes smoothly, uh, when in fact the, the different parts of the stock market are changing rapidly at different rates.